Maybe if you can say something about uh, what's going on. Okay, good morning uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Mungai Eve and first of all I would like to thank all my fans for always supporting me to this far. I know most of you have seen how far we've come. We've struggled together with you guys until this point. And um, it's a very sad thing. I've been seeing people doing this for so many times online. People coming with uh, false accusations. And this time round, I felt like this is the this is too much and you need to do something. And I consulted my legal team and that's why we we decided we are going to go uh, the legal way. That's why I've not been talking about it. I've been waiting for the for the police and the court to do what they are supposed to do. So I'd like to thank uh, my legal team, everybody who has helped me uh, until this time, this moment. Yesterday night, we managed to get the 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 guy, and right now he's under custody. He has been saying he lied about it, but uh, we decided let's just wait for the court. Uh, he talk in court so that we can get to know the truth. I wouldn't I'll want to talk more about about it. Uh, I would just want us to be patient. Everybody who has been asking me if I address this issue, let's know whether it's the truth or it's not. I'd like you guys to just uh, hang in there. Let's wait for the for the court to give us the final decision. Have, yeah. you, have, have you spoken to your bosses? You can be a combai story. You can under court. You kitu muna proceed nayo. Okay, so yesterday is when we managed to get the guy. So uh, he has been in custody for just today. I'm sure by, I've been telling them, of course, it's not true. Most of them uh, know it's, it, they are false accusations, but I'm sure now they're going to see the matter is going the legal way. I've not told them that, but I told them we're going to do the legal way. I'm sure through this video, they're going to see that. Okay. Yeah. And if, uh, uh, what about the forgiveness? I would love to. Uh, that will be discussed after plea is taken and it shall we shall consider it as an option yeah. but for now we want the accused to take plea in court asante ni sana okay talking about brands mm -hmm. uh, so far how many maybe the brands that you work with have reached out to you to ask you mm -hmm. and what final message would you have for people who would dwell on cloud Okay, um, I ha I've had a few. I work with uh, many brands. I've had a few because, you know, my bosses are also my good friends. So they just reach out uh, wanting to know, is this story true? If it's not true, how can you defend yourself? So I've had a few asking about it and I have told them to wait uh, to see the truth because the truth always in a journey shanga too. With time, people will always know the truth. Okay, for people who always depend on clout, I would tell them that most of us here, including your core commentator with btg nani we've worked so hard to build our brands i've seen people commenting on asema oh if this is just showbiz uh, just let it go and it's so unfortunate that when it comes to a defamatory case our some of our fans feels like it's showbiz but when eric Omondi is doing something that is supposed to be showbiz they don't get it it's but it's now clout. this one and it's a very offensive thing they feel this one is the one that is going to be is supposed to be a showbiz it's very sad uh, to those people who depend on clout i feel like uh, we all should be ready to work hard and ready to wait for our time because when you when you spoil somebody's name Atakipata hiyo cloud there is no way he's going to take you you know you cannot you cannot be talking about me then kesha you talk about Kyoko people will get tired of you people will know this guy uh, of course he's lying and when you come to the industry just be sure of what you want to do you cannot panga wezi panga cloud alafu you don't have like a future plan so after cloud what next because haita kusaidia pia i would like people to be patient and uh, also say that Probably not all of us that were made to be on social media. Some of us, they are supposed to be lawyers somewhere. Some of us are supposed to be doctors somewhere. So, ukijaribu mtandao, maybe you feel like it's not working out. You can always try other things. Because kuharibia uh, mtujina. We've seen uh, so many people, so many big brands, even here in Kenya, they have been accused so many times of things that are untrue to an extent that nowadays their brand has equal vizuri anymore. So that's why I decided, I decided on my brand, I'm going to make sure if you just come out with a lie, you just have to provide the evidences and we meet in court. Santeni mm sana. -hmm. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, members of the public, fans of Yves Mungai. 
Uh, today morning we have uh, reported at Pol uh, Kileleshwa police station and uh, we have come with my client to report of an issue whereby we've had a certain video circulating for the past three days uh, concerning my client and this video has serious untruths and uh, extreme defamatory statements. My client has built her brand over the years via sheer hard work and uh, she feels that anyone who has the intentions to jeopardize that, the law has to take its course. Uh, for now, I do not want to give much more details because the matter is out of our hands but it is with the state, uh, the accused. Mwendo Mailu, uh, he's facing charges of impersonification of a police officer, threatening my client, and also publication of unprintable uh, words, together with uh, publication of a video that he claims that he, may, he, he had a relationship with my client, of which my client has never met him. He claims that he has been giving my client money, of which there are no records to show that. He claims that he bought my client a tablet where she recorded her first 30 videos, of which there is no record about that. And so, as we... As, we, as the matter go, undergoes investigation with the DCI, as the matter undergoes investigation with the DCI, uh, we have been managed to confiscate some of his electronics and they shall undergo a forensic analysis awaiting plea taking on Monday. Thank you and uh, may we continue obeying the law as is required by the laws that have been set mm. by our leaders. Thank you. Where, where is the suspect? The suspect is under custody as we speak. Uh, specifically, he's, uh, he's, he's facing a contravention of, contravention of Section 23 of the Computer Misuse and Cybercrimes Act 2018, whereby he has uh, caused serious disrepute on my client. Even her business partners are calling her, uh, threatening to severe um, the partnerships that they have with her due to the wild allegations by the accused person. It may be uh, because we have seen a clip here, him apologizing. Uh, can Eve maybe apologize to her if... Uh Right now it is too early to say that and in any case the, the video I have seen of the apparent apology is not uh, as impactful as the same defamatory video that he made. The video that he claims is an apology is a, a mere joke. Uh, from the charges you have uh, stated I guess uh, this goes through, through the, uh, the of civil justice system. What are you looking at or what are your pleas in terms of uh, compensation or, or sentencing? Uh, for now we cannot comment about that. We await first the suspect to take plea in court. For now we, uh, commenting on that will be mere speculation. Let us wait for the DCI report so that we can know a conclusive way forward.